In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the international languages that are sitting dormant within your domestic Japan Sony digital camera. If you have purchased a digital camera such as this from Japan that is made for the Japanese domestic market, then you know that Sony only includes the domestic uh, Japanese language. However, the international languages are actually sitting in here. They just need to be unlocked. And through a clever piece of software, it can be done. And in this video, I'll show you how. All right, so this software that we're going to be using is the Sony PMCA-RE. It is a free piece of software. And this is its GitHub page. Scrolling down, you can see that it has a Windows version, a Mac version, and a Linux version. I'm on Linux, so I'll be showing you how to do this on Linux, but the process should be very similar for the other two platforms. Now, scrolling down, there is a link here to a list of supported cameras. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And here you can see the list of devices. These are the model numbers of the various Sony digital cameras that this software can work on. Now, I happen to have over here the uh, Sony ZV-E10. And uh, scrolling down, yes, here it is. The Sony ZV-E10 is supported. The first two uh, techniques don't work, but the last one does. There's a check mark. So scrolling up, you can see that the technique I need to use is called service, set, service shell support. So that's something that uh, I need to remember. And the Open Memories app seems to be working. I can click Get Camera Info, and there we are. It is showing me my Sony ZV-E10 has been detected. When I slide over onto these different tabs, I can see that there is a Start Tweaking Service Mode option. Click on that, and there it is. This is what we're looking for. You can see here that the Unlock All Languages has been disabled right now. And that's why the one out of 35, which is the Japanese language, is activated. Now when I click on that, and it says 35 out of 35 languages activated, I hit apply. Done. There it is. It's that simple. Now when I turn on my camera, it should show all the languages. Let's go take a look. So when you turn on your Sony digital camera and enter the menu again, you'll still see everything is in Japanese, but that's okay. The menu option where we can change the language has now been enabled. I'll show you now how to get to it. So you want to slide over to the fifth option, which is this little toolbox here. And once you're here, you press down and then you move over to the subsection, which is number three. And now below the USB option, this new menu option has appeared, which we didn't have before. And this is where you're going to change the language. And when I click on this, you'll see that a large number of languages has now been enabled. English, French, German, Spanish, Italian, 
the list goes on Portuguese so there's a large number of languages here which have now been enabled but I'm going to just go to English because that's what I need and let's just go up there activate that and there you go here is my Sony digital camera which I purchased from Japan and now all the menu options are in English and there it is a Sony digital camera purchased from Japan with all the international languages unlocked and available.